what is up y'all welcome back to my channel it is hump day i was supposed to start this monday but you know you know how you go <laughs> and honestly i'm really not sure about to get into this week i actually only have one meeting on my calendar today which is very very rare i usually have meetings from like 8 8 30 in the morning to 12 and then from 1 to 5 5 30 so it's lit um, and I'm going to go check out this new Cuban restaurant. It's not new, but new to me. Um, they have $10 lunch specials. So <laughs> trying to get into that. And also y'all, one of my really, really good friends hit me up and she was like, girl, I need to get away. I need to escape. Is you rolling? Me? Is I rolling? I might be. <laughs> So I'm very, very, very excited about that. Yo, having a passport is lit, man. Stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> and I actually over-ordered things for my birthday trip to Mexico. So I've got plenty of bathing suits and outfits that I've never worn that I had already like put together. So I'm going to try that stuff back on because I'm not about to order a whole bunch of things. We're not about to do that. <laughs> We're going to check what's in the closet first. So I'm very excited about that. Um, today I will hopefully find out when the loved one is having um, surgery because the next month, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just... If you see me falling off of the vlogs or whatever, that's probably why. So today or tomorrow, I'm going to batch create some content. I got some uh, Dior sample fragrances, y'all. And I've been waiting to smell them so I could do it live in a video. So I've got that. I've got new skincare because we haven't did a skincare video since the Urban Skin RX. Um, and also, I'm going to do like 10 things to know before moving to Charlotte. Um, I think it'll pair well with like the moving cost video that I did. That way, hopefully, you have a good idea. If you're in the Charlotte area, you're thinking about moving here, what you should do. So let me try to focus and get this work done before we go to lunch. What's up, y'all? It is time for lunch. I just pulled up and the parking lot is almost full. I think it's only like three spaces. It's a couple of different shops over here. Oh, the hip tea place is over here. We might have to go up in there too. <laughs> So it, this spot is in the cut. Um, if you were in South Charlotte, I don't, I wouldn't come this far up, honestly. But I'll let you know that again officially after I go inside and eat, y'all. It's only it's just, it's one o'clock, and it's jumping. Let's go. Let me stop talking. up y'all it is friday i know i know i know i know y'all i have i feel like i've been doing pretty good at this vlogging thing and this week i just kind of fell off your girl had some tummy troubles still actually got some tummy troubles and was on the couch all day yesterday uh the cuban restaurant was absolutely delicious um i will be back they were packed y'all like there was no seats open no tables open in the dining area so i sat at the bar which was fine it was really really nice um and yeah i'll definitely go back i didn't get a chance to go into the hemp tea place so we'll definitely be checking that out probably next week um today i wanted to go to the fair but the way my tummy feels y'all i just don't think that's a good idea i don't want to get stuck out there and be having a use the bathroom use the bathroom <laughs> so today um, i'm about to go in um and clean up and tomorrow we are going to an aerial fitness class yes going again and then i want to get some starbucks and we're gonna go and do some decor shopping okay i'm gonna get my starbies okay and we're gonna go to at home 
and Home Goods, Ross, maybe Target. Let me go shop a little bit. <laughs> and then Sunday, I have the Queen Society picnic event after church. So we got some things to do. I'm sorry I wasn't the best this week, but you know, life be life in real bad. So it's almost my normal bedtime and I have failed. I have failed at being a good adult this week. Like I did not cook, but I did not door dash, okay? I am three, almost four months of not door dashing. Proud of myself, but yeah, kitchen looks a mess. I'm about to unload the dishwasher then reload the dishwasher i got laundry going um i have just finished binge watching the new show on netflix called um uh, the night agent i think it's called the night agent very very good and then when i was about to get off of the netflix the new season of love is blind is out oh so i told myself i had to clean up the kitchen and start the laundry and take a shower i need to go take a shower before and do my nighttime routine because i got a bum bum before i start watching that am i gonna behave oh y'all let me i don't think i ever showed y'all like my cabinets or like i put up the gallery wall in the office too so some of the stuff i want to look for tomorrow is some artwork some rugs I want some new mats in the guest bathroom because what I've been using is just temporary. And I need an office chair. I'm tired of sitting in my dining room table chair. I absolutely adore this glass set. Um, wine glasses and such, all the shot glasses. And then at the top is kind of overflow. Some of them giant, enormous wine glasses. I gotta fix it though. I really like when it's turned over. I just feel like it looks nice. And then I got these plates that do not match and that I um I want a new set. Cause it just doesn't you see it just doesn't go with the vibe. Mm -mm. No no. So in here I have finally got them up. I am so very proud of myself because yes your girl had to put two screws and make sure it was straight and all of that that is one of my favorite quotes from one of my favorite movies i'm sorry you see the light thing the bomb there you go that way you can see the quote um i am planning either this weekend or throughout the week to restyle these bookcases because honestly and truly i just pop stuff up there that's not how that's gonna look that is not mm -mm. We're going to fix that. It looks a hot, hot mess in there. <laughs> and that is because I think I shared with y'all I'm going on a trip. Yes, I am going on a trip in all of, I think, two and a half weeks. And I have clothes, y'all. I have clothes. I've got bathing suits I've never worn. But guess who has a Shein cart that's like 250 right now? Why? So I'm gonna try to narrow down what I'm actually gonna get because I <laughs> time is of the essence and try to finish that tonight. I guess while I'm binge watching Love is Blind. I cannot wait to share this product with y'all because this overnight mask is like that. super super late um 
but I'm about to sit down, finish drinking this coffee, and then we're gonna get dressed to go to the aerial fitness class. And then we're on the streets. Y'all, it's so rainy. I just wanna get in the bed. I do, get right on back in. I could have recorded before I went in there, but <laughs> I was running late. It was so much fun. Uh, I invited Kiara. I met her at a Pilates class. And when I heard her giving her phone number, I was like, girl, you from Richmond? I don't know if y'all saw that vlog, but I hit her up and I was like, girl, I'm for real. Let's go work out. She came, she loved it. We had a really, really good time. I'll let y'all know when the official new studio opens, but let me tell you something strength classes and strength workouts are the foundation for everything they make every other fitness class so much easier not to say this was easy not to say this was easy but when it comes to like your balance and all of that so now we're gonna go find starbucks in the at-home store and i'm gonna drink some water in the meantime because the girl need to breathe so friends the starbucks is secure <laughs> I just made a quick little TikTok about it. This was the slowest Starbucks I think I've ever been to in my life. And now I'm backed up in this line. But we will go to Home Goods in at home. Period. So I found a rug I'm absolutely obsessed with, but I think it's too small for the living room. So I think I'm gonna ask someone if they have it um, in a bigger size somewhere, cause I've been looking for a long time and I have not seen it and I'm obsessed. <laughs> y'all, first of all, the sun is out, out. I did not know it was gonna be this hot today or we would have really been in the streets. Y'all, I wasn't at home for two hours, two hours. And the lady uh, that checked me out, she was like, are you on YouTube? She's like, I am. <laughs> she was really, really sweet. Um, so I got this rug. They, She said they have it at, I think she either said Pineville or Matthews, which is a hike, <laughs> um, in a bigger size. Because y'all, I don't think this rug gonna fit, but we gonna pray it and we gonna try it when I get to the house. And if not, I'm gonna take my hips right on over, um, maybe later this evening, because I'm a little fatigued. But let's just pop into Home Goods right quick, because it's just like down the street. Did I lose my mind today? Did I, did I lose my mind today? Because it's nice outside and um, I wanted things. <laughs> so I'm really excited to go home. I'm really, really hoping that this rug fits. Um, I'm excited to do a bath probably tomorrow night when I come back from the Queen Society picnic and use that. So I'm home, I ate, I high key feel like taking a nap. Y'all, I got this rug all the way in here. I have not rolled it out yet. But why did I low-key get a rug that looks just like the rug that's in my bedroom? I'll show you. Y'all, look at that. Look at that. Okay, look at that. 
this rug is just cooler it doesn't have like any brown in it but like bruh what is wrong with me look at So I feel like I should just take it back because I should just get a rug that's different, right? Like, I don't know. I can't believe I did that. Like, I was obsessed. I was like hunting 30, 40 minutes looking for the bigger size and it looks just like the rug I already have. I don't know. I'm going to roll it out. But I really think I just want a cream, just either all cream or like a cream and tan rug. Okay, it's definitely not big enough, <laughs> which is what I expected. But it's also good to know that I really want a more neutral and cream because I really want to do like black art and I don't want it to look too, too much, you know, like it just doesn't go with the vibe. But it's great because I get my queens back. Bye. But I actually want to go take this into the office because I'm really curious to know if this is the right measurement for the area by my desk. So let's go do that. Okay, y'all, let me show you some of the things that I got today. We're going to start with, um, let's start with at home. Let's start with at home. So I just got... Two little trash cans for the bathroom. Um, the one I have right now is black and I don't have one of the second bathroom. So of course they had cuter ones, but these were only $11.99. I was like, I'm not paying $20, $30 for a trash can that's finished in the bathroom. So I thought these were cute. Um, I like that they have a lid, so I got two of those. Okay, so next, um, I still have in the um, my office on that couch, I have pillows that belong on my um, sectional, so I wanted to get some smaller pillows for it. Y'all, they didn't have a good selection of black pillows today. I was like, what is that? What's up with that? So I just got two um, white ones, and I'll get some black ones later. These were on sale. We, we love a sale. So um, I'm going to throw them on the couch. Hopefully they're cute. If not, they goes back. Okay, y'all, so at home goods. I've been searching for a wreath for the front door. <laughs> How freaking cute is that? It's like styrofoam or whatever. Y'all, this was only $20. $20. Y'all know wreaths be like $40, $50, $80, $100. I was like, she's coming with me. Period. <laughs> and then lastly, I finally got a mat for the front door. It's so cute. I feel like it'll pair well with the wreath. Um, and yeah, because my door is dark. It's like the hallway is like a deep gray and the doors are black, so it's moody. So I thought this in the wreath against my door is finna pop. <laughs> I completely forgot to end this vlog, y'all. <laughs> the next day, Sunday, I went to church and then your girl crashed. She crashed. I did not go to um, the event I was supposed to make it out to. And it turned out so cute, but I was just exhausted. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the end of this vlog, y'all. The next vlog you will see is the weekend I'm currently on. And I am in the streets of Charlotte this weekend. So I can't wait to show y'all that. And thank y'all so much for watching. To those of you who have subscribed, left me such kind, thoughtful messages from the bottom of my heart. Seriously, thank you. I'll see y'all in another video. Bye.